Hello everyone, I'm Jung Chol. Today I will show you how to cover us server setup. Uh, for the cover us server setup, uh, I will make uh, two videos. And the first video, part one, will focus on the theory having six steps. And the second video, part two, will focus on the practice having five the steps. Step one, the covers system. Covers is a secure network authentication system developed by MIT in the middle of 1990s. And the covers system normally we use the credentials and we call this one is a ticket. And normally, this the, uh, if you use the, the cover system in this video, maybe I will show you maybe three two kind of ticket, and this ticket is secured by the secret kit encryptions. For the consist or to consist of the cover system, we need three participants. First, key distribution center we call this one kdc and the kdc has two part as and tgs as is authentication server tgs is a ticket granting server and the second participant is uh, application server normally application servers connected to this kdc and this application server will accept the client users after checking the ticket from KDC. In this video, I will use SSH and Telesub as a network service. And the second is the principles. The principle identify each participant in covers authentication, each participant. For example, users or network services. This kind of can be a kind of principle. And this principle normally identified by primary instance and realm. For example, here, root is a primary as a user, and admin is an instance, a kind of the group, and the child.com is a realm. Realm is a kind of Kerberos domain name. And each principle has a password. Password are used normally as encryption keys. So users normally should memorize this password to use the cover system. And the services will store their password in the kit file. So normally kit file cannot be made automatically. So if we want to use cover system, we have to make this kit file manually. And the KDC know all this password. Step to covers for overview. Covers has two button, button 4 and button 5. So this is a overview for covers button 4. So I already told you there are three parts for the covers. Here is the first, the client system with the users. And this is a cover system, we call it the KDC. KDC has two parts, AS and TGS. And this one is the application server. So between client and covers and application server, there are six steps to use this application server. First, here, first step, client will request the ticket, granting ticket to AES. Then AES will issue this ticket with session key. Normally, this session key comes from the password from client. And the uh, next step, client will request here, ticket granting ticket, so to TGS. Then TGS will issue ticket for application server to client with this session key. If client receive this ticket from TGS, then request the service to application server. Then application server will the check this ticket from the TGS, then server will verify ticket and, and after that, 
he will the send this information to client so now client will be successful to access this application server without password because of ticket from tgs covers version 5 dialog so in this dialog please remember especially about the how to issue ticket and where is the ticket first one this one c mean the client s mean authentication server and the tgs mean ticket granting server and v mean application server so at first step client will cast the ticket to as then as will issue the ticket so here so is the ticket tgs so this ticket will be used for tgs and this ticket already encrypted like this so key tgs mean session key between tgs and as so client even if client receive this ticket but he cannot see the contents of this ticket because this one this ticket is encrypted by the session key between TGS and AS. If a client receives this ticket from AS, then client will request the ticket to TGS ticket granting ticket with this one ticket TGS from AS here. So if a TGS received the this request from the client, TGS also will issue ticket here. Ticket we mean ticket for application server. And this ticket also encrypted key V. Key V means session key between application server and TGS. So even if a client received this ticket, cannot see the content of all the this uh, ticket because uh, this one only encrypted by the key the session key with the uh, application server and tgs and if uh, receive if the client received uh, this uh, ticket then the this client will request the service to application server with ticket V from TGS. If after the application server to check or verify this ticket from the TGS with session key, this one, session key shared by the application server and TGS. After checking this kind of the content, then the African server will send this kind of information and this information already encrypted session key between C and V. C mean client, V mean application server. So if the client are successful to bear to be verified by the application server, now the client will be successful to access application server with the kit, not password anymore. Okay, covers the system. There are two the authentication steps. First, initial authentication. Second, ticket authentication. Okay, the for the initial authentication, normally user enter username and password to the client system, and the client system, the login program, send this request for TGT, TGT means ticket granting ticket to KDC, especially AS. And uh, KDC here, AS, AS send the login program TGT, ticket granting ticket, and this TGT encrypted using the user's password. And if the login program can uh, decrypt this TGT ticket granting ticket with password provided by the user then user will be authenticated by AES. Now user is authenticated by AES then the client will send a request for a service ticket to the KDC ticket 
granting service. Ticket granting service means TGS. So now the TGS will send client to identical copies. One, the this one is encrypted with the TGT, and one encrypted with the service password. So we call this one is a session key by TGT and application server. Now the client will send the request to network service. Then the ticket encrypted with the service password. So service, I mean the application server. Application server will load this password and decrypt this ticket to verify the all information from the uh, TG, uh, TGS. And after that, also in this uh, ticket there is a time step also to protect this ticket from the anti replay attack okay if you are successful to install all the uh, coverless packages you can use this one k okay, admin and and the ticket controller in this step four and the k admin is a kind of tool to manage coverless principle here there are three kind the command first one add principle delete principle modify principle and change password this one is a tool or command to manage coverless principles and the second to set and manage password policies we can use this one add police delete police modify police get police and list the police and extract the principle into kit file we can use kt add and ticket control we can use this kind of command and also client system must set up the this file for the random i already told you random is a kind of domain name in the same covers system and here we can use this kind of command k in it to get new tgt k list is a show or list of level creation and or the ticket and if you want to delete all credential or ticket then we can use k history k to util can be used to, to build kit file because normally kit file is a database file so we cannot see the contents of kit file using textures so if uh, you are successful to be issued this kind of ticket normally this ticket will be stored in this directory here uid normally is a number in my case there are two systems for the testing environment server.com has this ip address 8025 and this one will be covered as a server it means as and tgs and for the user and the client system for the testing i will use the linux and the client.com has this ip address 8010 and uh, this one will be used as an application server such as telnet and ssh in this system i also the user linux for the testing of packet caps on wireshark in my case in this video i will use covers the random at uh, this one char.com okay before you start configuration of free requisite of the covers you need two free requisites first name resolution for the name resolution i will use this file etc host here 8025 is a server 8010 will be client and the another thing time synchronization on both servers so for this purpose we can use i can use this common system config time so here just click network time protocol and enable time protocol and time zone okay i will show you so at uh, first name resolution okay, here 8025 is a server and 8010 is a client and the client system also etc 
host. So here, AT10 is a client and AT25 is a server. And the second for the time synchronization, config time. So here, please click network time protocol just here, enable. Okay, that's all. And the time zone, I select from pen here. Please select your city you are living now. Okay. Okay, and here also, system config time, network time protocol, okay, enable. Time zone, select the city you are living now, and OK. And after that, check date. So now, today is March 11th, this time, and also this one. OK, same day and same time. So if you finish it like this, you are ready to start configuration of free liquor jet okay in from the step seven the next video part two i will start package installation thank you so much for watching this video and see you the part two